and good morning everybody how are you guys doing hope you're having a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the big wide world we are back and we're let me move the microphone a little bit we're back we're live we're streaming once again so i hope you guys are doing quite well uh we are gonna be starting by playing some bliss to get the show on the road love from india thank you so much play d4 thank you to emphatol for the two thank you to wandering bishop for the gift of sub to crispy thank you so much to boomer king for the 13th bride candy for the sixth thoris and talker for the two months thank you to maradon for the prime as well appreciate it so we are back of course you guys we're streaming once again here on twitch to start out we will be going to kick a little bit later on just gonna play some chill blitz try to get myself in the mood for the bullet brawl which is starting in about two hours from now thank you so much to king me for the nine months as well thank you so much to king me um i think i'm gonna go queen e2 here maybe e4 next move. i don't know if e4 is actually a good move or not but it's what i'm gonna aim for let's trade i have bishop a6 or bishop b5 both are playable e4 is also maybe a move rook c1 rook d1 also playable but it is what it is sad you didn't win the sec but what a great match it's great content it was a very very close match um match obviously could have gone either way uh one second at some critical moments i'm gonna go bishop a6 and get rid of these light square bishops if i can uh, but it was a great match all in all thank you to dane kelly for the nine months as well thanks so much dane kelly so i had a great time they even pb for the 35 months as i said probably there you know there, there were a couple of critical moments first one was when magnus was up and he had that mouse slip which definitely hurt him um you know there's a moment when i was up by three and i had that very bad game with the white pieces so could have gone either way but it is what it is and um at the end of the day it's all good nepo is laughing um if nepo is laughing that'd be kind of weird but i i think you're actually trolling me when you say he's laughing so let's go queen e2 and take or play knight c4 but yeah with the bullet brawl coming up in one hour thank you to linux archer for the 26 months as well appreciate things for linux, linux archer i'm gonna go knight c4 here i really think e4 is an idea somewhere e4 maybe knight b5 i could have taken with the bishop too but knight b5 is one of the ideas bishop a3 also an idea here as well thank you to mr mojo rising for the 19 months thank you so much to mr mojo rising let's go e4 kick the knight out of the center here he has knight f4 knight b4 knight f6 he goes to f4 queen e3 and g3 is a move queen f3 is also a move i think queen f3 makes more sense just to stop queen g5 in the mate threat Queen sack yesterday was awesome. Like I said, the whole match was really a lot of fun for me. I enjoyed it immensely, um, even even if things didn't go my way. So, Nepo was angry that you home someone without headphones. Yeah, I mean, all, all jokes aside, obviously, it is what it is. Um, so, let's see. We got G5 here. This looks kind of dubious, but I don't know how to punish him for this move. Um, I do have Bishop A3, maybe. Actually, I kind of like Bishop A3 to hit the Queen, maybe. Don't know if it's a great move. There is 95, but I guess I just take the Queen goes back it was queen f6 so if i go g3 knight sure it's no good if i play rook c1 feels like i should have some counterplay here somehow it feels like there should be some problems here in the middle of the board but i don't see it right off what wait if i take with i also wait i also have e5 and queen a8 here wait a second if i go e5 rook c1 ef6 take six there's nothing e5 he's up a knight here right so if i go e5 queen d8 e5 95 queen a8 is just winning e5 rook c1 queen a8 bishop f8 rook c1 that's also winning so i think this is the correct move just e5 to hit the queen okay he goes queen d8 he actually had knight h3 which i think he missed but now i should be better it's just a question of how okay if i go Queen e4 must be right. I have knight c6 somewhere in here. It feels very scary, but knight d3, I have knight c6, and I should be okay here. Not 100% sure that I'm okay, but it looks like I should be okay. I was watching YouTube, and of course you're live. Yes, uh, that's just a blunder. Knight f5 takes. I just take the queen. GG, why not? Why do you make chess look easy and hard at the same time? Um, that's just a skill that I have. He could take, but I think after takes and like queen e3... I take and I go queen c2 no knight e2 rook f1 eventually d's knights are not as good as the as the rook if he goes bishop d4 I think I have like bishop c1 maybe or even just if I go g3 I think I'm just gonna go c5 and queen c4 here open up the board a little bit with like checks and then I'm gonna go g3 knight three king g2 and it should be winning takes good g3 check uh i guess i'll go here i have to be a little bit careful of like these forks but the knights just look weak so we get the win uh wait let's go again let's rematch thank you so much okay looker for the 22 months uh i'm gonna go back to playing a6 play simple chess once again so that's what we're gonna do 
all right let's play c6 and d5 thank you ready stream for the 17 months unlike yesterday keep smashing oh I enjoyed it a lot like I said it could have gone either way um so let's play g6 bishop g7 uh maybe e5 here I mean overall the match was a lot of fun I enjoyed it I mean perhaps the only downside to all of it honestly is just seeing like the insane amount of toxicity uh in the in the chess.com chat that's the only thing that I would say about it is I was, I was actually very disappointed by it I felt like there was an incredible amount of toxicity um towards both players I would say like it felt like uh, both on the um on the end like when Magus played badly there's a lot lot of bad stuff being said when there was like when when you know when 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 Magus won at the end there was a lot of bad stuff being said too um yeah I was just I, I found it all like kind of a little bit disturbing to be honest I just found it really disturbing that like chess.com was not moderate moderating it at all either um so that's maybe the one thing I would say about it, is I was actually kind of kind of grossed out honestly um so that was the one thing I was actually more annoyed by that than I was by the by losing the match honestly uh, let's go 96 I'm gonna play for knight before bishop about five maybe c5 is a move two here um it was bishop a3 but now I have knight before maybe bishop a6 I don't actually know if this is good for me but it looks kind of interesting at least I guess I'll play rook c I still have knight d3 I don't know if I need to guard the pawn guard the pawn I could have just played knight d3 or f6 right away maybe but it is what it is toxicity is good okay yeah okay um yeah not exactly but anyway so he takes I'll take back I don't really like this from um from Bordnik I feel like I'm gonna go here in c5 and should be some kind of threats here on the center of the board I could have also traded um if I go queen b6 here I hit the pawn I've got c5 or e6 or bishop h6 as well taking it was also definitely possible but I didn't like it so let's go e6 over protect I have bishop h6 lurking here um down the road also c5 big threat assuming the sack doesn't work it was bishop h3 I don't really understand that move um I actually don't he, he's looking to sack so if I play I could sack here on e5 too actually but I don't really want to um oh no actually wait no he's looking to sack on e6 itself so let's go here he's looking for the big sack plays bishop f1 which looks horrible trade goes c5 now he's got big problems with these central pawns I should be well on my way to a victory here after takes I just take with the knight rook takes also fine um but all in all it looks pretty good for me here just takes queen b8 even I take play h5 attack the knight knight f6 I'll just trade it should just be winning I go queen I don't even know which square is best but I'll go to a6 target the knight now it should be GG in a second I just take and Rook C3 incoming it's all over okay two up two down let's keep going we need a business meme or a business memo for the 100 bits thank you so much business memo let's keep going let's play E4 let's go play D3 something simple maybe let's play uh sort of a Vienna here trade and go G3 thank you so much a major avalanche for the 13 months thank you so much a major avalanche I'm gonna go Knight F3 Bishop G2 um let's go here in castles I guess all very slow and standard he can obviously trade he goes Bishop G4 I'll play H3 probably rookie one okay so he trades so Rook B1 should be correct here the key is somehow I need to activate the Knight so I think D4 is a move um I think I'm just gonna play Queen D2 here it's a little bit weird but I'm gonna play just to break the pin maybe maybe I have C4 I also have knight g5 here um or knight h4 I should be careful I think I'm gonna go queen g5 to play for an end game like um like a Magnus Carlsen would so let's trade some queens here and keep going queen e8 knight h4 doesn't look right for white either um ladies and gentlemen of course I'll trade I guess I'll play a4 here I have a5 I have c4 central pawns a little bit loose here he'd love to put the pawn back on f6 they're a little bit little bit loose um I'm gonna go c4 here just to stop b5 bishop d2 is an idea here goes rook e8 so I think this makes sense to hit the pawn on on a5 good first step let's hit the bishop in the pawn okay now it's starting to get a little bit iffy for my opponent um okay I should take I should go like maybe here to hit the pawn on b6 there's a lot of pressure on the diags I'm gonna go here and c3 next move it was there okay let's play rook d1 
Okay, if I go rook b3 is knight c5. So I see his idea here. Thing is, how do I improve the position? b3, knight c5 takes, and a5 is maybe an idea, but that looks like way too much. So, okay, the question is what to do. Bishop d2 is always a move. Um, how do I do this, actually? I think I'm going to go rook to a1 and then maybe rook b1. Or actually, maybe I've got rook c1 or something. It goes bishop c5. I think I'm going to go c3 and take in d4, probably. You know, like knight c5, I have d4, and he has some slight weaknesses with these two pawns here, so I should have some chances to go d4. If he takes, he doubles. Knight b3, I just go rook a3 and rook b1. He's going to have to go knight e4, and I can trade. I can also go king h2, maybe. Um, okay, he goes knight e6, which actually I think is a, a surprisingly good move. Um, hmm. Play rook e1. I can go rook a3. I think I'll go rook a3. Let's go rook f1. Hit the pawn at f5. Uh, I have g4 here. Wait, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking too long. No, I think I'm just going to go e4 and rook e3. Keep it simple. Let's go here. Try to take the pawn on e4 as one of the rooks. Um... So just take this way why not probably he'll trade if b5 i mean i get i get a pass pawn okay, rook d8 logical i assume i should try to bring, bring my king closer i'm a little bit slow in this game i just realized a little bit low um but i also have d5 oh that's just a blunder i missed i should have checked first whoops okay i guess i'll go g4 h4 maybe I still should not be able to lose this end game. Just take and go rook here. Okay, so he's trying to do something here with the king. Um, I got to pick up the speed, though. I'm way too slow. Way too slow here. But I have rook d7, or, or rook b7, I should say. I'll go here. Okay, this probably should be a oh, did I just give him G five for some unknown reason? I did. Whoops. Okay, still should be a draw. Let's go here. I, I might be able to flag him here if I let's go here. That was a bad move by me. What am I doing here? Um, yeah, I just threw this game. Uh, so bad. Yeah, I threw this game pretty pretty badly. Not not gonna waste time. I threw that pretty hard. That should have that should have been a draw, but I, I allowed a trick to occur. Okay, unfortunately, it's uh, it's difficult to gain points against a player at this rating, so I, I really do need to focus. That was a very very bad game. I should have drawn that a few times. And I didn't make the draw when I when I should have. Let's go to ID seven here. Um, I had a pointed trap as work with discover check. I didn't see it. Maybe it existed, but I didn't see it right off. Let's just castle go bishop g six. Scandinavian, uh, better better opening choice. Yeah. Um, so they gave Cagnus win because of political reasons. Yeah, very funny, you guys. Very funny. Um, okay, let's go ninety five and trade here. Thank you so much to Amrizel. Thank you to I forgot my old username. Thank you to Connor as well. Appreciate it. Goes there. Okay, I mean I can play b five. I can also just drop the bishop back. I mean. Okay, I guess I'll play b5, attack the bishop. He'll probably trade. No, okay, let's go a5, takes, takes. Fairly standard position. It's the knights versus the bishops here. I should be okay. It's probably a small advantage for white, but shouldn't be that bad. 
Goth at 14k. Uh, there's this thing called Chess TV, which I don't have right now. There might be some event as well, which uh, I'm unaware of uh, additionally besides that. But whatever, who cares? Um, let's go uh, Knight of Six. Takes takes is fine. I should do some puzzle C mate in three. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bull brawl starting in one hour. Yeah, starting in one hour. Um, okay, let's see. I can play B4 takes and Rook A2 or go C5. Here doesn't really matter. It's all playable. Um, it goes D4. I have B3 here. I also have C5 somewhere. I think I'm gonna play Rook B8. Just keep it simple here. Oh, Levy isn't even streaming, so I got you baited. <laughs> Really? I got you baited that hard? Oh my god. Who who said that? I, I want to ban whoever said that, actually. I I, I want to ban whoever said that. I'm going to be honest. I want to ban them. Um, yeah. I think there's a Benjamin Bach for, for, uh, for, for the sub. Um, yeah, I kind of want to ban them, actually. I'm playing this game pretty poorly, by the way. I, I need to reset a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I gotta focus. What am I doing? I'm gonna go here and hit the pawn. He plays c5, which I think is kind of dubious. I could have gone rook d8 too. I don't know if it was right, but. I think it was Jake Nasty, and then extra spicy. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resubs, you guys. Um. Okay, so the thing here that I have is my knights are not very well placed. Knight d5 is probably fine. Takes, takes, rookie one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. Although I could... No, I can't take the c pawn. So I guess I'll go knight f6. I'm kind of surprised he didn't take, by the way. Let's go here. So I'll go here. Just trade some rooks. Don't love my position, but I think long term the knights will probably be better than the, better than the bishops. So let's go here. Um, I guess I'll go here. This doesn't even do anything, but I want to go knight, deep, knight b5 at some point. Um, I guess I'll go here and take with the rook. Okay, now I've got a good knight versus a bad bishop. Doesn't mean this is winning or anything, but now I get rook b4. Um, actually, let's just go here and keep it simple. Okay, there's always f6. I think I should play rook b4. Yeah, I need to pick up my speed here. Definitely not playing fast enough. Oh, whoops, I missed queen f3 altogether. What am I doing? Oh my god, I just didn't see that. What the heck? Yeah, I just didn't see that move at all. What the heck? I'm probably just lost now. Yeah, I completely blind spotted queen, 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 uh, queen, queen g4. Big yikes for me. Big yikes. Um, if I can get my queen into like d3, I have chances maybe. Not that I can, but if I if I can. I mean, queen e6 probably works. I'll pre move king g7 in case he takes. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no chance that I'm going to... Um... Wait a second. I feel like I should have some way to play. It's like rook e8 maybe. He always has a draw with queen h4. Okay, but now rook a4. Now I can check and go here maybe. He's using too much time. Um, takes. Huh. I should win now because of the time situation. Yeah. Yeah, now, now I should just win. Rook B8 and I just win the game. he doesn't have time there we go gg better luck next time okay we got the win um so we need to win another one to keep the rating going
Let's go back to Knight F3. No, none of this like Knight F6 stuff. Let's just keep keep playing simple chess. Uh, it goes G6, which is a mistake. Theoretically, this is bad for Black. Um, but I'm just gonna transpose it back to what I was playing before. Okay, it goes Bishop F5. Interesting. Um, I can play Knight D2. I think I'm just gonna trade the bishops so. though. Your match yesterday was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Z Monkey for the 100 bits as well. Thank you so much to Z Monkey. Appreciate it. Um, um. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be going to kick a little bit later on, but I just feel like playing Blitz. I mean, I could play Bullet to warm up, but if I play a lot of Bullet, a lot of Bullet, I'll probably be like, I'll, I'll be like bulleted out by the time the actual event rolls around. I don't really want to be in such a situation, so I'm gonna go A4, A5, adopting a call and no, because I lost the game already. If it was like 4-0, I could maybe run the table, but definitely not now. Um, so, so yeah, no, I enjoyed the match immensely. It was, it was great fun. I, I had a fantastic time. It was, uh, it was fabulous. I enjoyed it. Um, as I said, like, I, I, I thought the match was great. I thought the lack of moderation on chess.com and seeing a lot of like the sheer insanity being spewed was a very, very disappointing. I, I actually was more upset with that than I was, um, with losing the match to be quite honest. Um, so like, yeah, it's, um, the match itself though was great. I, I had a great time. Um, I think I'm just gonna go Rook B1 here, maybe Bishop A3. Yeah, the, the chat was horrible. Honestly, like I, I don't I don't really want to throw chess.com under the bus, but their moderation in chess.com itself, as well as on Twitch at times, is uh very, very questionable at best. Very, very questionable. Um if it goes knight b6, I guess I'll just trade. Um, I think I'll just trade and play like do I go queen c4, or rook c4? Big question mark. Um Queen c4, or actually, no, I think rook c5 is better to stop e5. And I also have a5 here. Let's go here. Okay, I guess I go... Mm, I don't I don't have c2 as best, but I want to reroute the knight somewhere here. Let's go here, knight c4 here. But yeah, the chess.com chat itself is really, really bad. And then, then here on Twitch as well, like, it seems like there's a big lack of moderation. And I, I find it all a little bit like distasteful to put it mildly. Let's go D5. That's a mistake. Now I get a bash with the knight on C4, E4. Thank you so much to Quiet Groove. They give sub David to Silver for the 25 of 94 here. I can also just trade, I guess, and play this end game. I mean, this should be a. Actually, I can go here. And I can play as like a Magnus Carlsen. Uh, do I go E4, C4 is a big question. E4 looks correct. Yeah, E4 should be correct. The pawn is hanging here. Although maybe it's wrong. Of course, knight c4 is just better, I think. There's queen c7. I assume queen a6 should just be very good for me. Let's just take. There, I have queen c8 and a5. I mean, I assume this is winning. Okay, but now I have knight g5. Now it should be very easy to win. It okay, goes rook b1, so I have knight e6. I can also just take all the pawns. Okay, wait. This is interesting. If I play knight f7, rook b3, I don't love it. So, okay, let's just take this step one. Seems correct. Go here and the knight e4, and I'm gonna go for the classic Arabiano checkmate with knight e4 and knight f6 and rook h7, and it should be gg. Why not? So, all right, it goes bishop c5. Let's go here to hit the bishop, and his bishop is just simply dominated. The rook covers the critical squares, and he he, he just resigns. So, all right, we're finally gaining some points at four to one clip. Let's play d5, same opening. He's gonna play g3, so. Many ways to play against the system. I'm going to play e5 here in knight f6. This, this probably is not objectively the most solid approach, um, but I think it's supposed to be decent. It goes d4, which is also kind of interesting. Um, hmm. I don't know if this is good, but I'm going to try it. Bishop e6, maybe? I, I don't know if this is actually good. This looks kind of dubious, but we'll see. Because queen e5, bishop e6, I threaten to line up the fossil with takes. But now I have here to hit the queen and guard the bishop. And now there's no bishop b7 either, which is very important in this position. Uh, this looks very wrong. Let's play h6. This takes rook h7 and he loses his pokey main. He goes queen f4. I have bishop b4. I also have just bishop e3. I also have g5. Wait. 
problem is I'm trying to play this too much like a classical, not, maybe not classical, like a, a, a game against Magus where there's an increment and you can use a bit of time. In 3 you don't really have that luxury. So I'm not sure if G5 is right or I should just trade. But I'm going to go for a G5. Queen A4, I'll trade, take, and castle. And I assume in an end game, I should be better than him. It's like knight g4, knight e5, weak pawn in the center of the board. This is a good example of like 3 0 versus 3 1. So with increment, I should use quite a bit of time, but in 3 0, you can't go too far over the um you, you can't go too far over the edge. I think knight g4 just wins a pawn. King e2, there's just bishop c4. If e4, I go knight e3, forking the bishop pawn, then I fork the king and the rook, and the knight is forking. So it should be very good for me. Uh do I take the pawn or do I go? I think I just take, take, and then I go here. I fossilize the knight. I have g4, and the, he'll, he'll resign very soon. Thank you to Ali WW for the 24 months. Thank you so much to Boom84 for the prime. Thank you so much to Boom. Let's go here. More brutality with rookie one and bishop g2 looming. He's probably going to resign here, I bet. Okay, he doesn't. Okay, but now I don't even, I can still ignore it. Cause, oh, he's got knight g2, which he missed, but who cares? I'm gonna go b4 knight f2. I'm looking for some some hook to d1 basically. There's just knight f2 and rook d1 looming, and he'll res now he will resign. Yeah. Okay, let's go again. What is this Rasp Rasputin, right? Yes. So for the schedule today, for everybody who's wondering, we are going to be playing the Bullet Brawl. We will continue our Botez Gambit speed run where I give up my queen for a piece or a pawn. And we're going to try to get our rating up to maybe like 25, 2600 today. So something like that is going to be the plan in general. So I hope you guys are, are ready for a fun day of, uh, of chess. I'm going to go B4. I know it's not right, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I can take and play B5 or Rook B1. Goes A5. I guess I'll play a3 and trade. I don't know if I like a3, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. Takes, um, take with the knight, of course, pressure the pawn. Oh, he's got knight d5, which I missed. But I have queen b3 because c5 takes, takes, he loses the bishop. I also have e4 to hit the knight on d5. What is my rating of the Botez Gambit speeder? I'm not sure, actually. So I'll go here, take with the bishop. I mean, e4 is definitely looming here. Go back. Okay, goes bishop a6. I mean, I was already intending to play e4, but now I definitely will and drop the bishop back. I couldn't do it right away, by the way, because if I play e4, knight f4, bishop f1, there's c5 due to the problems with the bishop on a1. Qatar open in October 1020. Correct. Now, this looks like a, a mistake. There should be some way to hit the bishop and hit the pawn. Takes, takes, takes. No, this looks good. I mean, there's bishop b5, 95, 95, bishop e5, bishop b5, I cover. So if he takes, I just take, take, and he should be losing. So he probably has to take the knight, but then I take the bishop, the pin is in play here. And there are problems everywhere. I've got the big white center to boot, so it's a very nice position. Wait, what? Wait a second. This should be a blunder, but I need to be careful. I do have time to use those. If I go e5, queen e7, that looks wrong. If I play g3, no. Rook c6. Queen d7. e5 looks right, but e5, queen e7, bishop c6, knight e2, king f1, knight c1. I don't know. e5 looks right, so I'm going to play it. Wait, what? I have queen f3 here? Wait, wait, wait. This should be winning. No, I just go g3. This this is just winning. What is he doing? So I cover. There's there's no ice skater, and now I start pushing the p up the board. There's d6. I'm going to double a battery him on the diagonal. Go here, hit the bishop, double a battery incoming, and gg, why not? He has f6 to stop the mate, but even this is just like so, so bad. 
Um, what's the cleanest way to win? I guess question. I guess I'll go here and just take the pawn. He can blockade the pawn, but it's not even going to matter because I just go like bishop d4, hit the pawn. Simply no no chance here for my opponent. I just go here, take the pawn. Go here, take, and I'm going to get the wide peepos and run them up the board and win the game. Oh, let's keep going with Scandinavian. I was going to play this one, okay. I think you're supposed to play e6 and bishop e7 if I remember this line correctly. It's been a while since I've played this system. Yay! Let's drop back. I'm going to castle. Knight e5, of course, the correct move. I'll just play c6 and knight e7 here. I also have knight d5 somewhere as well, but this is a dangerous line. You have to, you have to be very precise here. Um, I could play knight b6 here. Takes is not the move I want to play. Um, I'm going to play rookie 8 here. I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to go rookie 8, knight f8, knight g6 if I can. See what he does. I think it's with R. Sheldon for the eighth. Thank you, GSW for the sixth. Thank you, Cappy Cammy for the prime. Thank you, Cappy Cammy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Goes Rook D1, but that does give me Bishop B4, right? Yeah, I have Bishop B4. I think he just missed this. See, now he's going to have to retreat with the Bishop. I have Queen A5 here. I also have just Knight F8, which. Queen A5, Knight E4 takes. Uh, Queen A5 is just going to go A3. So, okay, let's just retreat the Knight to maybe G6. Go back. Keep the pin alive here. I can always trade the, trade for the Knight. There's also Queen D4 looming as well in this position because Pawn is under attack here. Okay, goes Knight C4, so I'll just drop back here. I think I'm much better now because D4 is simply hanging. It goes Knight E4, which... Definitely doesn't look right. I don't know if I should take this pawn or not. I think I'm going to take and takes with a rook. So, of course, I go like knight g6 here to stop any attacks on the king side. At some point, there's probably like if I can somehow develop this bishop and this rook, I should just be winning the game here. It was 95, which is actually a very good move. Um, or is it? I do have f5, maybe. Yeah, I think actually I've got f5 and queen d4. Maybe it's just a terrible move. Never mind. Forget what I just said. Because the rook moves, I take the juicer, he trades, and he's just down two pawns. Wait, what is this? Uh, he's getting desperate. He's going He's going on for the desperado with bishop g6 at the end here. Um, I don't really believe in it, but it might be dangerous. I'm sure this is winning for me somehow, but proving it is not going to be super easy. Of course, I could just take. Actually, why not just take and then take the pawn? I, I don't even have to take the rook and go to the complications because the pawn is still hanging whenever he moves the rook. So he's got no squares on the side to protect the pawn. We need an end game clown for the 30. This is Vikes for the 49 and Kino WC for the 41. Okay, goes rook f4, so he is really desperate. But I have g5. Rook e4. I mean, this can't be right. Wait, takes, takes, bishop c4, I have bishop e... No, this can't be right. Goes there, I mean take queen off six i mean he's just he's down too much material here or is he or did i just blunder oh my god maybe i just blundered oh my god i just wasn't thinking and i blundered or did i wait no i've got now what am i doing wait did i just blunder here i might have just blunder this game without paying attention Yikes. No, I blundered this. He's... Let's see. What's the evaluation here? Pawns are... I'm trying to figure out what the pawn count is here. It's five on... Uh, that's a bad... Wait, do I have bishop g4? Or do I go to F5? Wait, I'm thinking too long here. I expected that. 
Go here for us in Endgame. I don't know what's going on in Endgame exactly. I mean, it's it's three on two. We've got C five, C four. Probably this is a draw, I'm guessing. I'm down, what, two pawns here? It's so strange. I might be losing here. Oh, it's not, it's not, oh, it's not stalemate. What the heck? It's not stalemate. I thought it was. Oh, wow. What a huge blunder by him. Jeez. He was winning that easily. He threw that so hard. Thank you to Gustavo Samari for the prime. He threw that pretty hard, actually. <laughs> That was pretty bad for my opponent. Let's go E4. Yeah, I think he's tilted now. After not winning that game, he's definitely a little bit on tilt. Who's there? Uh, okay, first up, first things first. Play A4. Uh, I guess I'll go Knight D2. Okay, I'm going to go E5 here. I mean, e6 is always an option, but I think I'm supposed to play knight c4 to stop knight f4. I've got a6, I've got h5. A lot of ideas lurking. Takes, of course, I should take the c knight. Pressure in the center of the board again. Castles. Uh, this looks very bad. Some. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. This might not be right, by the way, but it, it looks very scary to play. So he takes, which looks insane to me, but Yay! wait, okay, wait, just rook H. No, I mean, this must be losing. Queen E4. Uh, Queen E4 has got knight F6. No, but I take, take, and I'm winning. Yeah, because knight F6, I just take, take, and I win the game. And about five, I just take, and he's he's in lots of trouble here. The Ezekiel Sabatino for the 34 months. So, yeah. What does six and a half stand for? That means that's a score in the match. I've got six and a half. He's got he's got one and a half. Um, okay, so here I think I'm going to take the pawn. Take. I've got like I think Bishop H six is winning probably, or Bishop C four. I mean, all roads lead to Rome here, and apparently that's the new meme. By the way, apparently the new meme is that uh, apparently all guys think about Rome like every day or something. Someone asked me that question recently. They're like, "How often do you think about Rome?" And I completely missed the meme, but I saw something this morning where. Apparently that's the new meme on TikTok or something. It's like, apparently guys are thinking about Rome every day or like every hour or something. But I definitely don't think about ancient Rome that that frequently. So. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's the Roman Empire. The Ro That was last week's meme. The last week's meme, this week's meme. It's all kind of the same. I mean, Queen F3 is also just winning here, by the way. But I think GF3... I mean, all again, I don't want to overdo the meme, but all roads should be leading to Rome here. Oh, do I have Queen C8 actually? Yeah, it's actually checkmate. The king, yeah, it's actually four checkmate. Yeah, easy GG. Let's go again. Okay, let's um, let's play A6 again. Keep it simple. The Hotel California. Oh right, this is a guy who plays this. Um, I forgot that he played the pan off, so whatever. Gonna take. I guess I'll take with a knight. Let's go here. I'll go here. Maybe knight f6 next move. If he trades and takes, he loses f3, and there's all kinds of bigly threats. So I guess I'll just play bishop b7, castle, all very standard stuff here. Now I could trade and go b5. I think I will trade and probably play like. Actually, why did I do that? 
Let's go here and work D8, I guess. I sh thought I had B5, but on B5, he just has A4. C4, okay, let's play Rook D8. I have Bishop F6 to pressure the pawn. If D5, I go Knight C5, of course. Let's go here, target the pawn. Is that a free pawn or am I crazy? What am I missing? Queen E4, I have Knight F6. Here, I have here to guard and guard the Bishop. I think he just missed this tactic. He thought he had queen e4 to checkmate or win the bishop, but knight f6 holds everything. Uh, and so I'm just up a pawn here. Unless he takes on h7, which he can. Okay, he's going to take. Okay, I guess I go back. I think knight c5 should just be really, really good for me, unless I'm missing something. There's like knight d3 forking the rooks, and this knight is forking. Um, queen f4, I just trade. Should be a win. Should be a pretty clean, clean win. Okay, he plays bishop f4 instead. Okay, so rook d4, bishop c7. Probably I just go queen c6, though. If I go queen c6, queen e5, knight d3. Yeah, I don't see it. Except rook still regard. I have knight d3, and he just can't dodge the forks. So it should be pretty simple. So we are going to be probably moving over... Um, pretty soon to uh to kick just so everybody is aware um for the bullet brawl but why doesn't Bornick play in the SEC um he didn't qualify that's why yeah very interesting match yesterday yeah I had a great time it was a fun match um it was it was pretty fun why not take on d4 after bishop c7 knight d3 I think he had rookie d rook c d1 and I don't win any material that's why okay now I mean, it should just be winning unless I'm crazy. Oh, does he have bishop h6 or some weird funky business with rookie three? He goes for it. It doesn't work, I don't think. Well, first of all, actually, I can just play e5, which is very, very cold-blooded. Yeah, this is just super cold-blooded. Hit the bishop, cut the diagonal in half, and he just, yeah, I just take. And knight c1 is winning, of course. It's not the only way. Queen g6 is also winning. So if I take... Actually, did I misplay this just a little bit? I might have. Wait a second, did I actually misplay this in some kind of serious way? Wait, if I go knight f4, queen e5, no, I guess. No, I guess it's still winning. A little bit scary the way I played this, but still gonna win, because I block and block against all the checks. If he plays rookie five, I have mate in one. So he, he, he kind of has to take with check. Of course, I block, he takes, and I goes to h4. I guess I go here and queen f6. So we're going to get another win. They get Apollo for the 39. They get Yago BX for the prime. Okay, it goes there. Uh, I don't even know if queen f6 is the best move, but it's a safe move just to cover up here in front of the king. And it should be pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, this is pretty simple. The position's completely winning. Kick is so much better than Twitch. Why not always stream on stream on Kick? Uh, I like streaming on both platforms. Also, uh, let's do two more. Or do we have time for two more or not? Mm. Actually, no. I think it's a good spot. All right, you guys. I think I'm gonna stop right here. We are gonna be moving.